Now let's head for you to the French R Riviera, where the Cannes Film Festival is underway. Our reporter Flo Vilmano is there and we can speak to her now. Flo, tell us a bit about what's on the programme on the red carpet today. Well, there's currently a rare moment of calm on the red carpet. In just about an hour, there will be the word, world premiere of a film by the Russian uh, director uh, Kirill Serebrennikov. The film is called Petrov's Flu. Uh, and now the, the director is actually facing fraud charges back in Russia. And so Russian authorities have banned him from being able to attend uh, the red carpet screening. So unfortunately, he won't be there in just about a, an hour's time. Uh, the film, though, is, is getting a lot of buzz here uh, on the Quasette. It's essentially uh, being described as a deadpan hallucinatory romp through post-Soviet Russia. It's set uh, in a city in the throes of a, of a pandemic. So uh, it's quite a, it's quite, quite a prophetic, actually, that this happened, given that it was written before uh, the, what we've been experiencing for the past year. Uh, everything is essentially seen through the perspective of a fever dream. Take a look. Понимаете, у нас у ребенка температура сильная. Ни поноса, ни рот, ни судорог не было. Вот когда начнутся, тогда и звоните. Уважаемые граждане, спецоперация ФСБ, гражданин Петров приглашается на выход. Да это ничего, что мы похитили человеческие останки. И даже в чем-то глумимся над трупом, не привлекут. Сука! Нужно мириться с арабами и жить по-своему! Yeah, a clip there of uh, Petrov's uh, flu. Well, later on today, there'll be the world premiere of a highly anticipated uh, film. It's the latest film by the American director, Wes Anderson. It's called The French Dispatch. Fre uh, Flo, tell us about it. Well, it was actually supposed to be the opening film at the festival last year. And of course, the festival was canceled because of the coronavirus pandemic. So there's been a lot of buzz about this film as well. It essentially follows three different storylines as the French Foreign Bureau of a fictional Kansas newspaper uh, writes its final issue. And it features an incredible ensemble cast like many of Wes Anderson films. So here's the list. Get ready for it. Elizabeth Moss, Benedicio del Toro, Adrian Brody, Tilda Swindon, Lea Sidhu, Francis McDormand, Timothy Salamé, so that's just a little bit of what, what the cast is like. And then there are, of course, some, some regular usual suspects that we see a lot in Wes Anderson films like Owen Wilson and Bill Murray, who is doing his ninth collaboration with Wes Anderson. It's being described as a love letter to journalists. Take a look. It began as a holiday. Eager to escape a bright future on the Great Plains, Arthur Howitzer Jr. transformed the series of travelogue columns into the French Dispatch, a factual weekly report on the subjects of world politics, the arts, high and low, and diverse stories of human interest. You don't think it's almost too seedy this time? No, I don't. For decent people. It's supposed to be charming. A clip of the uh, French Dispatch there. Uh, at Cannes. And that's it from Flo Vilmano reporting for us there from the festival. Flo, thank you very much indeed.